And on the eighth day, God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a caretaker. So God made a farmer. Howdy, folks. I'm Darren. I'm Susan. Welcome to another video from the Eighth Day Chronicles channel here at Cross Timbers Farm. We're glad you're with us this evening. Uh, this evening, we're going to show you some uh, um, feeder options for chickens. Several years ago, we found a chicken feeder, a homemade chicken feeder that you can make out of a five gallon bucket. I'm not sure where we found, found it. Found it on Pinterest. Pinterest, YouTube, somewhere, something. I don't remember. It was several years ago. Uh, someone uh, showed a feeder they made out of a five gallon bucket for a chicken feeder. And we've been using this feeder for what? Three or four years now? At least. And I can tell you that we've tried almost every chicken feeder on the market. Um, all the hanging feeders, the ones you dump feed in in the top and they eat out of a little trough that it feeds down through, gravity feeds. And the waste is unreal in those little feeders. We would come out of the mornings and there would just be chicken feed all over the ground under the feeders. And we just thought, what a waste. And they have to be a better way to feed these chickens where there's not such a waste. And we tried this feeder uh, out of a five gallon bucket that we found on, on somewhere on the internet. And this has turned out to be the absolute best chicken feeder that we've ever tried, bar none. So we're gonna show you that this evening and we're glad you're here with us at Cross Timbers Farm and uh, we'll get started. Okay, most folks in most farm stores you find, you'll find hanging feeders like this that's got your place you pour the feed in the top and it just gravity feeds and fills the bottom and you can hang it we use these for several years with our egg layers and while they work okay the the waste the food that was spilled out of these things and was laying on the ground every morning was just not good and uh, so we started looking at different ways to feed our chickens and to minimize the waste. And what we came up with was this. This one has been in use for probably three years now. It's just a five gallon bucket and you need a good watertight lid uh, that'll fit on top of it. And what it has, if, you, if I spin it around, there is three 90 degree elbow three inch PVC pipes in there. Okay, and I'll show you how we installed those. Okay, the, the main component other than your bucket to, for this feeder to work well, you need to pick up three 90 degree elbow PV, PVC pipe fittings, okay? And it's very important that you get one that is beveled on the end. If, if Susan can zoom in with this a little bit, you can see that this pipe fitting is beveled on the outside especially. It has a lip there. That's very important for this, this feeder to work properly. Okay, take your 390s and you can see what I've done. I just used a jigsaw and you cut and leave two legs sticking up on on this little, I don't know if you'd call it the, the inlet for the feeder, exactly what, whatever you wanna call it. It's how the chickens actually eat out of it. Okay, this is very important because when you put this in the bucket and you fill the feeder up, this allows the feed to fill in to the bottom, the, into the, the feeding station. The bottom of this will sit on the bottom of the bucket just like that. And you can see that it will allow feed to come in for the chickens to be able to stick their head right in there and feed. Neat. Okay. What we did was took a five gallon bucket and we went around and marked evenly in three spots. And with the same jigsaw, we used, we used this end Put it up there and mark around it and cut a hole, okay? 
Now, these these are pretty thick, this PVC is, and you'll need a vise or something to stick this in while you cut it with a jigsaw. Uh, but it's very easy to do with just a simple jigsaw. Okay, when you get your hole cut out, then, as you can see, you just slide this, this 90 right into the hole and keep working it in until it goes in flat. That's why this bevel is so important. It keeps the, the feeder from just wanting to slide right on in. It's a, it's a stopping point. Okay, now we have all three of them in and we've tried gluing them and things of that nature and let them sit and dry and over time it just breaks loose. If you've got the bevel in here, the feed down in the top is weight on top of them and they don't move as long as there's feed in them. We've had no problems with them. So now when you look down into the bucket, you can see that there's three feeding ports and all three of them are cut so feed goes right in them and the chickens are able just to put their, their head right in the hole and eat the feed. We'll fill one up in a moment so you can actually see the feed in it. And you can actually see the chickens eating out of it, okay? Just put your lid on, fix you a place to hang it inside your run. These feeders absolutely have the least amount of waste of any feeder we've ever tried bar none. Uh, it works perfect. And if, you, if you're having problems with waste in your chicken feed, I encourage you to, to build one of these. They're simple to build. All you need is a bucket of lid and three PVC, three inch 90 elbows. And just do some cutting and put it in. And I think you'll be very happy with it. These are very durable. Like I said, this one's going on three, maybe four years of use. Something like that. So, and it's still in use. And, and you know, plastic over time in the sunlight will will crack. And this, but this one, like I said, is still going strong after three, at least three years of use. So let's go feed this, fill this thing up with feed, and uh, feed the chickens, and you can see them eating out of it. Hang it up. So Darren has fixed two chains. Um, with clips and I just clip it up and it hangs nice and level stay steady and we actually just switch the chickens to different runs these girls there's less of them now so that we've moved them to the smaller coop we have more of our comet so we move them to the larger coop for more roost space and you can see we've got a lot of work to do in here. It's been a couple years since I've fixed their dust bins and done a lot of maintenance, but we'll get it cleaned back up. These feeders hold about 20 pounds of feed. When we fill one up with this many hens, we can leave it about a week and a half without having to worry about their feed. Um, I like that they we've not had any predator issues. We've not had any issues with rodents, scavengers getting into their feed. Um, the only problem we have is the smaller birds sometimes want to roost on top. And that gets to be a little dirty, but that's been about it. See if we can get somebody to eat now. They're in a new run. They're not. Yeah, they're. They're in a new run, and 
well this is their old run so I think they're curious about what's going on they're just gonna go to bed and look I have my chicks in a row they're not ducks they're chicks well they were in a row Well, as you can see, that's what we're talking about. Those small, younger birds want to get on top of it. But that's okay. The feces can't get into their feed like it does with the open top feeders. girls so the the chickens have to stick their head into the feeder to get feed so it prevents them from scratching in it um, which prevents waste okay the best part about having chickens is gathering eggs every day um, excuse my egg basket it's been a good one for several years. It was nice and cheap. Um, we like our free range eggs because, well, free range eggs have a third less cholesterol. They have less saturated fat. Um, they, in my opinion, they taste better. Beautiful black sex link egg. The best part of the day we do when our eggs start to get a little soft thin shelled like this one is I just keep my shells dry them out crush them up and feed them back to the hens for calcium sometimes we'll give oyster shell um, but we found doing that with our um, unpasteurized unwashed shells does just as good and it's free free resource so five eggs today out of six layers pretty good okay um, some of the benefits of farm fresh eggs um, especially free range eggs where chickens are able to get out in, in their natural environment catch bugs worms that sort of thing um, the eggs are shown to um, from what we've read um, in studies that we've seen they have about a third less cholesterol about a fourth less saturated fat, more vitamin A, um, two times the amount of omega-3 fatty acids, three times more vitamin E, and seven times more beta carotene than pasteurized store eggs. Also, farm fresh eggs last longer. Eggs that you get in the store are typically up to two months old when you purchase them. So these can't get much fresher. These uh, were uh, laid in the last 24 hours. I gathered eggs last night. Hens typically lay an egg every 23 hours, depending on the time of year. Um, so, better for you, prettier, and there's nothing like the joy of gathering your own egg. And thanks for stopping by with us this evening on the Eighth Day Chronicles channel here at Cross Timbers Farm. We hope you find that the five gallon bucket chicken feeder is something maybe you can use with your chickens sometime in the future. We really like it and hope it maybe is, is something that will help you in the future. Happy hens lay healthy, delicious, beautiful eggs. Thanks for stopping by and we'd sure appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, we're a new channel on YouTube and we're enjoying making content for y'all, Life on a Small Farm, and uh, we'll sure appreciate it if you'd subscribe and like the video, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. God bless. Thanks. <laughs> y'all, it's a question as old as time. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to Cross Timbers Farm, where life is good. <laughs>